What's up everybody and thanks for tuning in to another Pug Love Production YouTube channel video. As always, I'm your host Adam C. Today's video, I'm going to be unboxing my Carbon Fiber Diva and Mechas and do a little honest review about them. I've got my Overwatch stockpile behind me and I got my duplicate regular Diva out of box to do a little side-by-side -side comparison. So, let's get started. Um, some side notes here. The Carbon Fiber Diva and Mecha was available on the Blizzard store, I believe the 19th or 20th. And currently, last time I checked, they were still in stock. That was a few days ago, though. A few days ago. Because when I actually went to check before I did this video, I wanted to see if there's still any, uh, still any available for you guys to let you know. And the gear website, or the gear.blizzard com website is currently down on maintenance until August 8th so I don't know what it's gonna be if they're gonna be sold out or if there will still be more available to buy hopefully if you didn't get it there's will be more available I hope I don't know and uh, so before I get into this uh, they'll give you details on the pricing basically it was $30 um, a little bit higher. The normal Diva on the website was $25. This one was $30, a limit of two per customer. I did buy two of them. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the other one. It might go into a giveaway pile, trade box. It might go to one of my buddies. I just don't know yet. Currently, I did look them up on eBay to see what people were trying to sell them for since the website's down. And people are going a little crazy with it. Some have a starting bid of like $20, $25, and they might have one or two bids on them. But I don't see any above 50 with a bid on it. And then there's some that even go above $50, and they have titles like it's an SDCC exclusive. It's not. Don't put that down on your eBay bit, uh, uh, if you're going to try to sell one of these. Don't put that down on your eBay name title. It's not an SDC exclusive. It's a Blizzard gear website exclusive. You, I don't know if you got one somehow at the SDCC or whatever, but it's not an exclusive there. Please don't put that. You're lying. You're trying to make it sound better than it is. It's a Gear Blizzard website. It even has the Gear Blizzard website sticker on it, not an SDCC one. Sorry for that little rant, but that, that was making me so mad. So, crafted with pride and imagination. Yeah! Some bubble wrap this time! Thank you, guys! That's what I'm talking about! Last time, all they had was this stuff in there. So, this time, it's mostly bubble wrap. Probably because it's two giant pops. Ah, they don't want to come out. Number one out here. Sorry, guys, for the struggle. Do a quick box check. Looking good so far. There's number one. Nah. And number two, bubble wrap. Always save the bubble wrap. Well, I'll just keep that open. So, quick box check. And looks good. So, boom, number two. There's the rest of them on there. I have all these guys and all their different variants except for Reinhardt, to my knowledge. I do not have Unmasked Reinhardt, which was a Best Buy exclusive, and I have a story about that that I'm not even going to get into right now, because that story always makes me a little upset. So, let's take a look here. If There we go. Oh, yeah, this is sweet. This is freaking awesome, guys. So, let me pop the little diva out. There's a, some smudging here, some dirt on the mecha screen. But, sorry, let me show you guys here. There you have it. That is the carbon fiber mecha figure right there. And just very awesome. Um, it only has the mecha sticker on it. Sorry guys, I, have to, I keep forgetting to block my face off. Um, it doesn't have all the extra stickers, sponsor stickers, that the regular Mecha has there. But uh, still, the, the color variation is very cool. The, I love the black and gold. 
This, however, I wish was a little more on the green side instead of that teal bluish. But other than that, it is it is a beautiful, beautiful Mecha Pop. So, a little side-by-side -side comparison there. So you got the regular one here, kind of has all those on it, and then boom. Very cool, and it, it's, it's very nicely designed. Um, they did a good job there. And then we got Carbon Fiber Diva for you there. And it's a little harder to focus on these smaller guys, but you can see her outfit kind of matches in with the Carbon Fiber Mecha. And there's the regular Diva there, so a little side-by-side -side comparison. A little different color in the hair. No whiskers, no little whiskers on her. And a different suit color. Now, there you have it. Now for the actual review part of this. Um, there's not really much about my review. Uh, it, it's a very good pop. It's really cool. I love the different variation and how, you know, they change the color up and all that. Now, let's get to the pricing. Um, $30, I just don't really see it as the store sh being, it, it shouldn't be, uh, the store price shouldn't be $30, okay? I could see it being maybe at the most $25, because even the regular Mecca being $25, it shouldn't have been $25, maybe $20. See, what I figured if uh, with the regular Mecca and Diva being $25, I figured, okay, you're spending about $15 for Mecca and $10 for Diva, the little mini Diva figure. That doesn't price out right. I could see $15 for Mecca because it could be considered a 6-inch, and those usually go for about $15. Bucks. But then they're charging a pop price for the little Diva. She isn't a pop. She's a miniature. If anything, she might be $5. And the fact is, she doesn't stand very well on her own, and there isn't a stand that comes with her. So that's another problem that I have with this pop. So with that being the original, the Carbon Fiber Diva, I definitely don't consider being worth $30 as a store price. Now, if they go out of stock and they become very hard to find, Yes, I do believe that it should inflate to a higher price of about $50 to $60, considering it's a different variant from the original. But, again, the Carbon Fiber Diva, the Mecha, may, about $15 value, maybe $20, because it's a different variant. Then again, you got the Carbon Fiber Diva little miniature figure. I'd say maybe five dollars, even though it's a different variant. It wouldn't. It should not be above five dollars. So that would make it about a twenty to twenty-five dollar for the. In my opinion, I believe it should have been a little bit less money on the store side. But other than that, it's a really good pop. It's really awesome looking, and if you're a huge Overwatch fan and a pop collector, it's definitely a must grab. So other than those little complaints. It's an awesome pop. I highly suggest any pop collector or Overwatch fan go out and, uh, you know, once August 8th is hits and the website's back up, go there, try to see if you can get yourself one. If not, and you really, really want it, you might have to bite the bullet and go through eBay. Hopefully the prices don't skyrocket too high for you if that's the case. But, again, overall, I would give this... Um, I would give the Carbon Fiber Diva and Mecha, I'd give it about a 7 to 8 out of 10. Um, I lean towards the 7 only because of the price. I don't agree with the price and the fact that the little Diva doesn't stand there on her own for people that want to display her out of box or maybe do a little setup with her outside of the Mecha fighting against people. It's going to be kind of harder since she doesn't stand too well on her own and she doesn't come with a stand. So... Those are my only real complaints with it, is the price and the fact that the little diva doesn't stand up. So, I mean, I'm, I'm sorry, I keep saying so. It's, you know, to, eat, it, to everyone's own opinion on what, what they think, you know, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Is it worth 30 bucks? Should it have been a little bit less like I think? You know, is it just an awesome pop in general? You know, let me know. So there you have it. There's my unboxing and my honest review of the Carbon Fiber Diva and Mecha. Please, if you're not subscribed, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Leave a like on this video, share it with all your friends, and leave a comment down below. What did you think of this, uh, the Carbon Fiber Diva Pop and Mecha? 
What, uh, you know, do you really, did you grab one up? Did, do you want to grab one up? You know, uh, what's on your mind? How's your weekend going? Anything is up for grabs in the comments. So thanks for tuning in, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video, and peace out.